Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Demiurge server, running Minecraft 1.19.3. And... I'm not sure what's different from point three to what we were previously playing, but I'm sure we'll find those things out as we go. I am here at my base. Which you all know, it's actually, yes, it's my base. And I want to show you what I've been working on. It's been a while since I've posted a video. But I'm back now, and let's take a trip. Essentially, it des I decided to find a new workspace. I wanted to build a, diff a new base, even though this castle isn't completely finished. And I'm going to sleep for the night. Can't sleep because it's not dark enough. So it's raining. It's not really nighttime. Nope. Rain never stopped me. So, we're just going to go straight. And we just lost audio. So, as I was saying, we were going straight to the shore. This is a good beach up here to start off from. And then I'll throw down my boat. And we'll start following the fire beacons I created. put the boat in and you can see there's fire on the I don't know what you call it bridge over here just have to pass through and then I tried to create a additional beacon with fire and smoke that you can see as you get to each one so you get to one you can see the next one doesn't always hold Sometimes it just tells you you're going in the right direction. There is one. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't want to go to the left. Well, yeah, I guess I do. So I'll go to the left now. Hmm. Well, I know it's this way. And we will get keep going to the farthest beacon I realize the poor choice of names I call instead of beacon I guess I call them a buoy with the signal fire there's the next one and let's see is there a torch on it yes torch tells me the direction we go so to the right And there's another beacon, buoy, another buoy with fire. And we'll just zip on out to here and presto changeo, we get to Mears Island, which is probably looks a lot different than the last time you were here unless you watch his channel. There's his original ship that he created that's coming right along that whole building is coming right along and if you go around here we we'll get to a place where I created a very large map for him right next to his beacon and that is a beacon and we're gonna head out north which I have to stop and check I'm not going north. I'm facing east. Now I'm going north. And now we can start off in that general direction. And the first thing we'll see is the ship remains. It's a sunken ship. And then 
the beacon. Yeah, that's a sunken ship, all right. And that is not really a beacon. That's a, or a buoy. That's a small, sh what is that? That's a small ship I built, which has fire on it. it serves as a buoy. And from here, we can follow the next buoy. And we will make it our way to the place that I want to go. And there's some more markers. You can see I put a G on this particular sand pile. And a much larger buoy with signal fire. And this brings us to what is my new base. Done a lot of work on it. Let me take a few minutes and catch you up. So we'll come over here. We got a castle wall, several boats. I'll hop out and we'll go in through here. We're now on the inside. Let's look for a bed. And here's a bed. Let's go to sleep. Start fresh in the morning. And the rain clears. Is it just me or does everyone hate the rain? This is a very large map that I put together. This is where we currently are located. And sorry, that wasn't where we are located. That was mirror space. Up here is where we're currently located. And you can see that when I pick up the map. Yeah, there's us. Rotate that back into place. And I've been working on several things. Building up the base. Getting structures in place. And the like. After creating this rather large map, I took the time to go over and create some smaller, larger maps, if that's the right word. These maps have a ratio of 1 to 8 meters, so 8 blocks per pixel. Here you can see Mirror's base clearly and my castle. And I cleared all of this is another map that shows all below that, all everything south of that. And over on the upper left is the hopper base. So this includes everything from spawn all the way to mirrors base, which is all the way to my new base. At least that's what they together they could become. So let's go ahead and put this map back. Over here is the same thing, except I've added a third map. It really is mostly water. Except for that small island. So that gives me a rather large view of the world. All mapped out and ready to go. Which makes traveling and making smaller maps much easier. Now, let me show you what's inside. I've uh, in here's a simple layout and all my storage, such as it is, not a whole lot. You can come out here and look at the oncoming traffic or ships that have docked, get a pretty good view of everything. And then this is something special. I added a portal to the nether. And if we go through the portal, that's the one we just came from, Gintian's Island Space. And we head off in this crafted hallway. I wanted to make it safe, a safe trip. 
and so you come down here doesn't take too terribly long at, at full sprinting speed there's a small staircase and here we are this is my original castle near spawn we step through here And we are right back from where we started at the beginning of this video. So, needless to say, I've gotten tired of doing it by boat. But uh, the nether portal and tunnel goes a long ways to making this trip back much easier. So I'm going to do that now. I'll see you on the other side. That's not good, that's a creeper. Let's prepare a little better. Aha! He's dead. There was a pigman here earlier, but he seems to have disappeared. Why, zombie pigman? I don't know why they always turn into zombie pigman. Ah, uh, there's one, and he is also a zombie pigman. Why do they always turn into zombies when they come to the over over to whatever it's called overland? Well, that aside, I've come up with a list of things I want to work on. Number one is building an auto furnace uh, number two build fuel, fuel source for auto furnace number three build large cactus farm and number four build source of XP based on smelting cactus five work on giant pyramid mega building and six make sure to mine out the area underneath the mega period mega pyramid building so I'll have to explain those more in greater detail but that's the plan so far so I'm gonna say I'm gonna call the video and hope you enjoyed what you've seen, and I will talk to you next time.